All oh, right, well, he's probably not here. So he said, what's your opinion on listening to music? So I'll answer that question for him in his absence. You know, like, you know, like, um, if you don't appear in court, the jury will convict you in your absence. So yeah, I'm gonna answer his question in his absence here. So he said, um, what's my opinion on listening to music? So a lot of people think the reason why a lot of young black men are going around killing each other is because of drill music and they think drill music is a bad influence. Yeah? Now I made a video called The Root of All Evil. Yeah? Money is the root of all evil. Yeah? That's what a lot of people say. A lot of people love to say this mantra. Money is the root of all evil. Money is the root of all evil. Money is not the root of all evil. People are the root of all evil. Not money, you know. People. Yeah? There are people out here, they will stab their family members in the back yeah, over money. Yeah? I'm not going to forget about this topic about music, but I just want to say something that I heard, right? I remember one time I was working in an area called Finsbury Park, yeah? North London, yeah? N4. There's an estate called Stroud Green Estate. Stroud Green Road, yeah? There's an estate there. I think it's called Stroud Green Estate. There was a black woman, a Jamaican woman, yeah? She didn't have no accent, but I just assumed she was Jamaican, British-born Jamaican, yeah? She was standing on in the middle of the estate in the road, yeah. On the phone, you know, us black people were loud, didn't it? When we talk on the phone, didn't we? But it was like an argument she was having with someone. She's like, I don't know what I'm going for you people, yeah. Mum's not even um, buried in the ground yet, she's not even cold in the ground yet, and you lot are fighting over the house. So, why I assume because this happens all the time, a parent will buy their property, or whatever, in it, yeah. They'll be the age of 60, they'll pass away, yeah? Her children, big people then. 35 to 40, yeah, whatever in it, yeah? Could be older, could be younger. Anyway, they are the heirs, right? They are entitled to a piece of this property, yeah? But it's the mother's house, right? The mother's not here no more, innit, yeah? But they're so fixated on the money that they can get from this property that they don't even, they do care about their mom, they do care about the funeral, but they still, yeah, they know, say that there's some money they're waiting for them, isn't it, yeah? and that's what they're fixated on, isn't it, yeah? So basically, amongst the siblings, yeah, they're arguing and fighting over how much they should sell the house for, and that, oh, the house is worth 450,000, but if we sell it quick, we can get 400, yeah? And someone else say, no, why don't we sell it for the value that it's worth in it? No, 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 but let's just get as much money as we can. Let's just um, sell it quickly so we can divide up the money as soon as possible or whatever, in it, yeah? When the smart thing to do is maybe just sell the house and get the value it's worth rather than, you know, lose value for the property because your your, your money grab delicious or whatever, in it, yeah? That is not, money is not the root of all evil. People are the root of all evil, wouldn't it? Yeah? Those people, they're bad, right? You've you, you got a sick mentality if you're trying to fight over your, your parents' house with your siblings so that you can sell the property and get your cut, yeah? You don't care about it. You don't care about nothing else. You just care about your pocket. I know someone, yeah, a parent died as well. They were entitled to a certain amount of money, right? And somehow they must have shagged the sister. They bumped the sister for about 20 grand, yeah? So let's say, for example, in the pot, there was 50 grand, yeah? Maybe the parents said, oh, you know, a portion of this money goes to this child and then a portion of this money goes to that one. Somehow, right, the older brother bumped the younger sister and must have got 20 grand out of her or whatever, really, and he bought a fucking Mercedes with it. This is the mentality of people, yeah? Money is not the root of all evil. People are the root of all evil. Yeah? Your parent has died, yeah? And all you're thinking about is, yeah, how much money you can get for this property and that. You're mad. You're mad. So back to the back to the music thing, yeah. You know, people then they'll they'll be listening, like you've got young youths out here listening to drill music and that. Yeah. And people think that's the reason why they're going out and stabbing people. Those individuals are bad individuals to begin with. Yeah. You got little kids in America. Yeah. Remember when GTA Vice City came out? 
Yeah, I used to play that. Yeah, when it first came out, I've got that game. Look who you go went out and shot someone in the street or something like that. Yeah, oh, it's because he watched GTA Vice City, so he was influenced by the game. That kid is a bad child to begin with. Yeah, that kid is a bad kid. Yeah, because there are plenty of youths out here who play GTA Vice City, didn't go and start no one, didn't go and shoot no one, didn't even steal a car. Yeah, that child. It's a bad child, yeah? It got nothing to do with the game, yeah? There's man out here listen to drill music and that, yeah? And they go out and they, yeah, they want to step. Ain't got nothing to do with the drill music. Yeah, one thing I will say though, maybe sometimes the music will put you in a, yeah? I used to listen to, I grew up on, so, man born in 992, a man growing up in like what? I grew up, I was a teenager between the years of what? 2004, 2009, that's when I was in school. I went to school between the years of 2004 and 2009, yeah? Just after that as well, I grew up listening to Gas Gang, um, SI, Sneebo, Snap Capone. I probably would have listened to Tiny Boots back in the day, but he was in jail, yeah? Stigs, all them Peckham Mutes, yeah, PYG, all, all, all of them, yeah? All them Bricks and I see so all of them, lot, yeah? Yeah, when I used to listen to their music, I'm like, yeah, like, but I was already in that lifestyle. I was already in the gang lifestyle anyway. So, you, you know, it, it didn't turn me from a nice church-going child who sleeps in bed with a suit, yeah, and like a Jehovah's with No, fam, it didn't turn me into a, uh, from a nice child into a, a vicious animal. I was already a certain way already. Yeah, it may have enhanced it a little bit, but... At the end of the day, right, I was already on the wrong path, yeah? I didn't wake up one morning and think, you know what, yeah, I'm going to try the bad man thing. Anyone who listens to a Jewel song for the first time and thinks themselves, yeah, I'm going to try the bad man thing, yeah, they can go out and try it. They'll get slapped up or whatever, innit, yeah? And they'll realise, you know what, I'm going to tap out. This ain't for me. Yeah? So the music is not influencing people to go out and do bad things. They are generally bad to begin with. Yeah? Yeah, it may enhance it a little bit, I'll give you that, yeah? You get one point, yeah? It might enhance their bad behaviour a little bit, yeah? But it's not stopping, it's not, it's not turning good, innocent people into vicious thugs. Now, I don't want the one out of a thousand police to come and say, well, I know this one person, that's one, that's not, yeah, that's not even significant, yeah? That's one, yeah? Yeah, you know, certain things can have an influence on people and stuff like that, right? But it takes a certain person to go out and do bad things. Yeah, I do believe, you know, young people will watch you know, Chris Brown, ATL, all this lifestyle in Atlanta and think, so, yeah, I want to live that lifestyle and try and copycat it, yeah? Try and, you know, drive the flashy car or whatever to imitate that lifestyle, the urban lifestyle, yeah? But that's not criminal activity. They just maybe going to work and wasting their money or whatever in it, yeah, and, you know, they, they earn a certain amount of money and they don't save it and they waste it, they squander it, they buy things they're not supposed to in it, yeah. that's not criminal activity, that's just foolishness, yeah, but I do believe that, you know, there's some people out here, right, they, they are just, I, I believe all the ones that do listen to the music, they're just bad people in general, yeah, and they happen to listen to that music, yeah, I don't think that the music is in, influencing these young people to go out and do crime or whatever. They're just generally bad. Yeah. yeah, you know, the lifestyle when they watch Kim Kardashian and all the girls with the big bums and that, yeah, they're getting influenced to get their bum done, but, you know, that, you can't compare that to criminal activity. It's two different things, man. Two different things. Yeah. Especially, like, there, there's criminal activity, like, being a fraudster and stuff like that, and then there's criminal activity being a gangbanger. Yeah, it takes a certain... I don't want to say caliber of person like they're oh they're amazing and you know we should be congratulating them or anything like that, but it takes a certain caliber of person, yeah, to be able to go out and stab people and ride out on the magnum and whatever in it. Yeah? So I don't think it's got nothing to do with it. I think maybe yeah, it may enhance your yeah, you know, it, it may it may put you in a bad mood and make you want to do certain stuff, but that's not gonna make you turn into a gangbanger. Yeah. That's not going to make you go out and find the gang and say, you know what, I'm going to join this gang because I listen to one or two dual tracks. No. no. It's either you like that anyway 
and it's just enhancing you. Don't get it twisted. When I like, I still listen to all them old songs that I used to listen to: Sneakball, Stigs, PYG, Gas Gang, SI. I still listen to them old songs like that. And yeah, I do relapse, yeah, like in my mind. I don't go out and commit the crimes or do anything, but I do relapse in my mind. But I still come to my senses. Yeah, I do go back to when I was 17, 18 on the road, but I still, yeah, I got a brain in it. I still engage with a brain cell on it, and I still, you know, realize, oh, you know, man, I have to put that lifestyle behind me, innit? And it can't, <laughs> can't go out there and start banging out, uh, start riding out, man. What, 27? Or back on the road? Imagine I jump back on the road at the age of 27. 27 years old, back on the ends. That would be embarrassing, fam. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, see, yeah, I do realise that, yeah, I remember what, what stage I was at in my life when I used to listen to these songs. But I do that about any music. My favourite song, All I Know Is Pain, yeah, by Styles P. I first started listening to that track when I used to go to my friend Moose's house in Stone Newton. I remember riding to and from Rectory Road train station. Yeah, I remember I used to get on the train at Edmonton Green, go down to Retchie Road Station with my bike, and then ride from Retchie Road Station to my friend's house near Shakespeare in, in Stoke Newham. Yeah, I remember listening to that song at that particular point in my life. So when I listen to these old songs like Gas Gang or some Peckham tunes or whatever, and I remember, oh yeah, back in the day, that's what I was. You know, I remember I was listening to this song at this point in my life, or whatever. Yeah? But yeah, in my mind, I might think, oh, yeah, I remember like, yeah, I used to do this and do that, but. For me to what go on, yeah, and one, come on, fam, come on, man, come on.